Hey, you dear beautiful souls. I was just about to head out skiing and I had this overwhelming thought that I wanted to share with you. I was remembering a conversation that I had with an acquaintance, somebody I know quite well, a couple months back. And we were talking about, you know, um, the challenges and the trials of, of parenting and, you know, some of our, uh, some of our struggles. And we started talking about some of the habits that, you know, you could label as bad habits, things we'd rather not be doing or, um, and to, to be honest, um, I can't actually remember all the, all the details, but we were sharing things, you know, about, um, you know, some of the harder times and, uh, you know, some of the times where we find ourselves judging or criticizing ourselves or when those negative racing thoughts start going, or even those moments or those evenings where you indulge in way too much wine. And, you know, and she said to me, oh, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't think you had any bad habits. And it really went bing, a light bulb went off about something. There is a danger that we have, particularly in the spiritual communities, around putting someone on a pedestal. Um, in other words, making someone else your guru. Every single leader, every single human on this earth has their, um, their light side and their dark side. Everyone has their shadow. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. What you see on Facebook, you know, people putting their best face or their best life forward, there is a whole life behind the scenes. And this is another symptom of what has become a sick society. And it's this, we look outside of ourselves for who we truly are. We look outside of ourselves for our own guidance on our lives. We have been taught from a very young age to look outside of ourselves, even to find love and validation and appreciation and inspiration and um, all of these things. Now, the world out there is rich with knowledge, with examples, with um, you know, people that I truly admire and adore and I know they're not me, and I know that I'm not here to be them. And that is really, really important. Thousands of years ago, millennia ago, we were talked out of our true access to love and knowledge, and if you want to call it God or source, and we created institutions, and I have nothing against churches and uh, some schools and um, systems. Uh, but, but you can see now that a lot of those schools, a lot of those, those systems had huge shadows, huge shadows that are coming to light. And though they should only be there to point you towards your own curiosity, your own creativity, and your own knowing that's right here in your heart. Yes, you. You have access, direct access to it. So if you ever think that somebody else is perfect or they don't have bad habits, just give me a call because I can tell you about lots of them. And I know that this world is just it's yearning for authenticity and truth and real people who show up as they as they are and the guru worshiping is going the way of the dodos because most of the gurus that we've put up on pedestals have fallen and that will happen as well uh to whoever you know to to any anybody any human being that you're putting on a pedestal pretty much so 
gravitate to the people that make you feel good, that shine something, that just get excited about you and are excited about their life. And, and they're not afraid to just tell you all the dirt about how they got there. And I'm not talking oversharing. I'm just saying that everybody has a journey. Everybody has a struggle. And everybody here on this planet simply looking to be loved. Find that love inside of you. Access that direct access to your own magic in every moment. And I am not kidding about that. And sometimes we need to be shown the really dark places and the really dark places inside our bodies. And I've had them. I've had those times. I've had those moments. I've had those weeks. <laughs> sometimes it feels like years. And they, they're here to teach us something too, because when you start to recognize the light, when you start to see the light starting to shine, it's only because of the darkness that we can see the light. You are your own guru. And you, of all people, are the one that is here to know and receive yourself. And sit with your heart. You know, sit with a hand on your heart and on, on your we call it womb space, your womb belly. That's for men and women and even women who don't have wombs, they still, we all have this energetic frequency within our body that gives us direct access to exactly what we are seeking. Take care, my loves. See you soon.